The different career positions in the dental field are you have your dentist, you have, and the dentist is the main guy. Then you have a dental hygienist, which is, if you've been to any dentist or dentist office, usually the person that's cleaning your teeth is the dental hygienist. And then they also have the dental assistant. The dental assistant, uh, which is what I am, is you are assisting the dentist or hygienist um, in whatever procedure you're going to be doing. And that may require you just suctioning, that may require you doing fixing materials. Uh, you can do a lot to assist the dentist, like kind of like a nurse for a dentist in a sense. You're basically like the dentist's right hand man in a sense. Basically when you're an assistant, you're just an assistant and you're gonna be doing that assistant. But if you wanna do, if you wanna, I wanna, I like assistant, but I wanna clean teeth. Well, I, wanna, I can go out for the hygiene program, then, but that's another different, separate program that you'd have to do. Um, or I, I like assistant, but I want to become a dentist. All right, but then you have to go to dental school and a whole different other program. And so, or if you want to become a specialist, then do the specialty. You have to do the dental school and then get into the specialty school. So it's a lot of different steps. But this is the first step if you want to get into that that field. You're gonna have to need either a certificate or a degree uh, for dental assisting for sure. You may have to do some prereqs, but it's not like you're getting, like it's a, it's a certificate program, so it's not like you're going for your bachelor's or your associates. You can work towards that, uh, but this is more of the certificate. So how long would it take for uh, one person to get finished? Uh, I would say probably six, seven months. If you're looking at something that down that's long term, that is going to be more stable, because uh, if I had a factory, you know, if the economy is not good, I could get fired, I could get laid off for however amount of time they feel. Whereas this particular uh, field, that's not going to happen. Like, people need their teeth worked on, fixed all the time. And so that's one of the good things about the dental field is that it's not going anywhere. The starting salary for our assistants um, it would be anywhere between uh, 10 to 15 an hour or 10 to 20 an hour, depending on where you go at, depending on the office. And then as you get more experience, as you work more, it'll go up. I would say uh, in a junior or senior year of high school, what they would start to do maybe next time you go to your dentist to get your teeth cleaned, like tell them, tell the receptionist, tell the assistant, tell the dentist, like I'm interested in doing this. Like can um, you show me some things or can I come in here one time to kind of get an idea of, you know, what this is. That would be one thing. Course-wise, definitely like an anatomy or a science. If you're going to be doing some type of reception work, like a computer class, because everything is computer, so definitely computer class because everything is on computers now. Usually when you're an assistant, you're the first person that the patient uh, will be interacting with. And so it's good to know, like, you don't really have to talk to them, but it's good to have some type of communication skills. Me personally, like I said, I'm a people person. I like talking to people. I like to get to know and meet people. And that is a good thing about this where you're going to meet a lot of people. And it's good. It's a good feeling to know that this person broke his tooth. You got him in. You and the doctor fixed it because now, yeah, the doctor does the majority of the work, but you are also his assistant. You're also there working and helping him. 